Hi, everybody. Mike Brown back with you again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements Beginning and Intermediate course. In this lesson, we're going to take a good look at the toolbar, which is probably one of the most important aspects of your workspace, and you'll be using tools of all kinds to do all of the work, not all of the work, but a great deal of work on your images. So we're going to investigate it. I'm going to show you some of the primary tools, how they work, not all of the tools, and I'm going to show you the tool options bin and some very important tool shortcuts for very frequently used tools that will save you an enormous amount of time. And time is everything because the more time you have and the easier it is to work, the more work you can get done and the more creative work that you can do. So let's get started in this lesson. First off, I would like to pull up the image I have here. This is the Photoshop Elements 10 workspace. And if you happen to be working in Elements 10, I wanted to compare the toolboxes and the toolbar. I call it a toolbox. Some people call it a toolbar. I may switch back and forth. That's me. Okay. You notice in 11, the toolbar or the toolbox is on the left side of the workspace. And you notice it's a two-up presentation. And the tools have categories, the view category, select category, enhance category, draw, modify, and color. There are no elements 10. They're identically the same. It's only the organization in the toolbar that is different. Over here in elements, I'm going to highlight the same tool. In elements 10, you see this specific tool that I have highlighted right here. It's the rubber stamp tool or the clone tool. And the little white dot indicates in the sub menu in 10, you click and hold on the toolbar and you get the fly out menu. In 11, every time you hit a tool, the options bin opens up and there are your sub tools along with your options in the bin. A lot easier to find them and switch back and forth. That's what they did, organized it. Now, that's that part of it. I'm going to move up and for that tool, the options always appeared right above the workspace. They have moved the tool options down into the tool bin as well as the flyout menus, consolidated them. And as you can see, the toolbar in its single fashion, they've consolidated the tools into usable categories. That's the only difference between 10 and 11. So everything I talk about here in 11, those of you with 10, no problem. Just they're in a little different position. Okay. All right. So let's get back to that title. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this particular um, file right here. These are all of the tools in the toolbox by name and what they do. So the tools that I don't go over in this lesson, you can find them right here. Here also is the toolbox with the name of the tool and the single key shortcut to activate that tool. For example, look over in the toolbar right now. You notice the highlighted tool is the clone tool, which I can tell you is the letter S. And if we go over here to the clone tool, rubber stamp pattern tool, there's the letter S. If I want to highlight the zoom tool, the shortcut is the letter Z, and there's the zoom tool. If I wanted to highlight this tool, the lasso tool, the shortcut is L. For the brushes, it's B. For the text tool, it's the letter T. For the crop tool, it's the letter C. Do you notice how easy that was for me to do that? Just shifting back and forth from tool to tool by knowing the letter on the keyboard, which saves you a lot of time. If I'm working on an image right over here, with this particular tool and I need to go to the zoom tool and I go over here and I come back and I zoom it. I need to zoom up. So I go change it and I zoom up a couple of times. And now I go back to that tool. Every time I did that was a couple of seconds by knowing the single key shortcuts for each of the tools or most of them will save you an enormous amount of time and allows you to focus on what you're doing rather than having to go look away and come back. You stay with it, stay in the tools, just very simply hit the shortcuts. 
Now, this particular file, as well as the tool definitions file, as well as this file here that has some important tools